Hey guys, all of you who are using clipboards in their mobile will be angry with the feature of Android 10 of disabling background clipboard copying in their mobile. You may even have come across articles saying that don't upgrade to Android 10 if you rely on cross-device clipboard syncing. An article published on AndroidPolice.com And likewise, you may have skimmed through questions in Google support of clipboard not working in Android 10. Yeah, and the recommended answer is that all of this was because of the privacy change in Android 10. So you just have the choice left of using Gboard's clipboard or any kind of this thing. Yeah, although it is true that Google has put some restrictions on background apps. That is why your clipboard cannot work unless it is your IME, default IME keyboard like Gboard or any other keyboard. So what can you do at the moment? Just don't upgrade to Android 10? Or what else? In this video, I will tell you the whole process of setting a full stack clipboard in your mobile. And I will try to keep it as simple as possible. So guys, let's get started. So first we will cross check that our mobile is running on Android 10. We will go to settings, scroll down and click on about phone. Now we will click on software information and you can clearly see that it is running on Android 10. So we have to download a new app called Clipstack from App Store. We will search for Clipstack and we will install this first app developed by Rick Sinhe. You should clearly see the icon and the title of this app. Although this app is in beta version but it will work fine and have really good options. After installing this app we will open it. So you can clearly see that this app is stating that background clipboard access has been blocked by Android 10. But the app developer is also sharing a trick to bypass this limit. Using this limit may be a tricky task for non-techies as you have to go to your computer, download a file and write a little bit of command in command prompt CMD. Ok so willy-nilly we have to go to our computer screen. But before heading towards our computer screen, we have to enable USB debugging mode from our developer options in our mobile. So for enabling debugging mode, we will go to settings, scroll down and find somewhere developer options in our mobile settings. Like you can see mine in the last. My developer options are on. But they are not enabled by default. For enabling them and in some devices for even displaying them, we will have to enable them by going to about phone, finding build number somewhere in it and tapping on it 7 times. You can see the device is showing us that we have no need to tap this as our developer mode has already been enabled. But you may have to enable it. So after enabling it we have to go to developer options, scroll down and enable USB debugging mode. And now we will connect our mobile with our laptop or PC with the help of USB cable and head over to our laptop screen. In our laptop, we need a tool to run adb command in it. So we will head over to Android developers official website and download this tool named SDK platform tool. I will leave its link in the description below. You guys can use that link to go to this page. Under download section, you can see three links for each operating system. One for Windows, other for Mac and the third one for Linux. We will download for Windows as we are using Windows 10. This is a zipped file. I am copying this file to my desktop to make things easier. So now we will extract our file on desktop. You can see that the file has successfully been extracted. 
you can see all these files inside this folder. So in order to run command, we have to open cmd. We will search in the taskbar by typing cmd and then we will press enter. In cmd, we will directly type this command cd space desktop forward slash platform dash tools and press enter. It will navigate us inside downloaded folder. And now as we are inside this platform tools folder, we have to run these three commands inside this folder. You guys can copy these commands from the description below or from the Clipstack's main screen. Okay, now we will run all these three commands one by one. Firstly, we will copy this first command and paste it inside cmd and press enter. This will execute your command. You may get these two lines attention notice or you may not. So in either case, we will copy next command and paste it inside cmd and press enter. After running this second command, we will copy the third command and paste it inside cmd and press enter button. All of our three commands are executed successfully. Now we will disconnect our mobile and check that clipboard is working alright or not. So now I have disconnected my mobile from my PC. So we will check that clipstack is working alright or not. We will open clipstack and you can see that it is working alright. Now I will cross check that clipstack is also working in background. So for checking purpose I will copy some text and check it out. You can see that I have written three lines over here and I'll copy all of them separately. First I will copy my first sentence and then my second sentence and then my third sentence. I have copied all three sentences to check that are they properly being copied to my clipboard. We will head back to Clipstack. You can see that all three sentences are apparent here. So we are all done. In the last we will go to settings and disable USB debugging. Even after debugging USB, you can see that Clipstack is working fine. If this video helped you, press the thumbs up button and don't forget to share it with your friends who rely on clipboards. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.